publicly filed. It is exactly the waiver what, that he has referred to in the Statement of Financial Conditions, and I want you to understand how clear it is. It states, such valuation methods include, but are not limited to, the use of appraisals, capitalization of anticipated earnings, recent sales, and offers, estimates of current values as determined by Mr. Trump in conjunction with his associates and, in some instances, outside professionals. Considerable judgment is necessary to interpret market data and develop the related estimates of current value. According, the estimates presented herein are not necessarily indicative of the amounts that could be realized upon the disposition of the assets or payment of the related liabilities. The use of different market assumptions and or estimation methodologies may have a material effect on the estimated current value amounts. Let me explain to you what that is. That is on the Wiser Lazar Statement of Financial Condition in the front, but is always provided to everyone. We have heard numerous witnesses come in and out of this court wasting taxpayer dollars, wasting numerous taxpayer dollars in a city that has fallen apart because they don't want to believe that any business in New York can conduct themselves without the Attorney General sticking her nose in your business with a statute that has never been used against an individual. This is a scary precedent legally for any business in New York. What is happening now is they are saying that the Attorney General is no longer going to use 6312 against consumers. She's going to come after you and your personal business, and then she will bring your children involved because of political motivation. And that is all that bad is here. 